Hi Terra Nova, it is Dana and it's great to be with you. You know the word restless has been coming to my mind so I looked it up in the dictionary which says unable to rest or, re or relax as a result of anxiety or boredom. And I'm pretty sure that many of us were restless when this whole um, virus started. We were unable to rest or, re or relax as a result of anxiety. Um, so this made me think of some verses that I've been looking at in Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. And in there, um, it says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. And this first part of Matthew 11 um, says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. You know that Jesus was mainly talking um, about the burden that the Pharisees were putting on the Jewish people to follow all the rules and the regulations of the law. You know, we also um, can see that our society tends to put on a lot of burdens to us as well. And experts say um, that de-stressing our lives can take days or even weeks, depending on the levels of stress in our lives. And maybe you found this true as well. Maybe when you have gone on vacation, it takes a few days to relax and to let down after this constant state of being burdened or wearied or rushed. Um, you know, these first few weeks of the virus, many of us um, were forced to let go of constant activity, feeling uh, of being unable to rest, relax. You know, but then Jesus introduces us to this next part of the verse, right? It's take my yoke upon you and learn from me. You know, at first I look at this and it's like, wait a minute, it seems like I'm exchanging one burden for another. Take my yoke. That is a big wooden beam that has been placed across a pair of oxen or other animals. That sounds heavy and burdensome. But then Jesus continues to go on to say, he says, learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So his yoke is one of repentance and faith and a commitment to follow him. When we're yoked to him, as long as we're in step with him, that burden remains light and he carries the load. And that last um, verse, verse 30, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What if the secret to life that we crave is actually easy? As our society begins to shift gears and we see this glimmer of re-engaging into outside life, um, let's consider Jesus' promise of his yoke being easy and his burden light. Could it be that just like the Pharisees put undue burdens on people to follow rules, um, that we've put undue burdens on our lives, making every engagement, responding to every text, tracking likes, posting on Instagram, joining every sports team, and everything that comes across our path. You know, as we look at scripture, we Jesus never seemed to be in a hurry. He wasn't idle. He was purposeful. He was focused, but on the things that really matter. So I'm praying for you and myself that as we regage in outside life, that we can reorient our lives under his yoke with his direction and stay in step with him. This weekend's a special weekend for many of us. So I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of you that are out there. God bless.